My name is Jorgen Waitsi, and this is The Great Escape. Today, me and my training partner Raivo are going to show you details about elbow and knee escape from under the mount. This is a technique that everybody knows, everybody does, but there are not many instruction videos uh, about the actual technique. So I think I have accumulated a few things over the years that might help you as well because they have helped me a great deal. Just like every other technique, the elbow and knee escape begins with the correct posture. I never want to be under the mount like this, flopping like a fish, but uh, I need to have correct posture. Now, correct posture under the mount is that I want to turn on one side to be on one shoulder and one hip, arms in, and pay attention to my legs. The leg on the bottom, uh, I glue my knee onto the ground. I don't lift it up like this, like this. I glue uh, the whole leg to the ground. The other leg is on the ball of my feet, of my foot. <laughs> and uh, I slightly turn that knee inward. I keep my hands in, one shoulder, one hip, leg glued to the ground, and knee up. This is why I need to have correct posture. If my legs are flat here, it's very hard for me to escape. I cannot take my legs out from under me. If my arms are out, he can start to attack my arms in whatever means he wants to. I need to be on my one side with arms in, so I can later on use the frames. And with legs, if I lift my bottom leg up even a slight bit, my knee comes up a slight bit, it will slide under my leg and it's, it will be far harder to escape later on. The other leg needs to be positioned on the ball of my foot and slightly knee inward. This way he's already a little bit disrupted with his uh, base. If my leg is out here, his weight is on me. I can make my escape, I can start to escape, but his weight is on top of me. If I'm slightly on my side and my knee slightly crossed over, I'm already disrupting his base even before I start to escape. Like here, I can lift him. His, his weight is stuck between my frame and my thigh here. If it's MMA, if he wants to uh, wants to punch me while I escape, I can already disrupt his base a little bit here and then start to make my escape. Pay attention to the correct posture. Now my legs are positioned the correct way, knee up, the bottom leg glued to the ground. Uh, I kept my hands tight and now I need to start making frames. I always need frames in order to be able to escape. And from escaping under the mount with elbow and knee escape, my frame must look like this. Basically the most important thing is that my bottom arm is on the ground and goes about to the midway of his thigh. Other hand, I take the other hand and I press it, uh, press it against his thigh. Uh, if he's a little shorter, it might end up against his hip. But the main point is that it's either against the thigh or against the hip. I don't put it into his stomach. I don't put it in too low into his crotch. Uh, I never put it this way because uh, it's really easy to pull off and to peel off the frames. If my frame is inside and I uh, grip my arms like this, then it's really hard, if I keep my arms in, it's really hard for him to uh, pull my arms up, right? And I can, I can still, still make my escapes. This is why I also grab with the bottom arm from the top bar, because it, then it's kind of a uh, one unit. If it's the other way, he can peel off this one and then peel off the other one. But if it's like this, inside, it's far harder for him to peel off the frame. Now, in order to get the frame, of course, it's it's never just uh, just just put it in here. It, it won't happen like this. If his knee is tight here, I kind of uh, make a circle with my upper body, stretch, and push it in here. This is one way to get the frame. It's tight here. I stretch and push push it in here. If he's really up on my body, 
like he sometimes is. I still keep my feet uh, and my legs in correct posture. I can't stretch and put it in. I walk back on my shoulders a little bit, and now I have a frame. So it's either stretch and put in the frame, or walk back on the shoulders and now get the frame. Okay, now for the actual escape. I will first on show it. Uh, show it just, uh, just by myself. I have made my frame, the correct frame. I have my correct posture. Now I just start to shrink. I won't give details on the shrink. Uh, it's up to your your BJJ teacher to to do that. I shrink my hip out and take my one knee, press my one knee out from under him. And that's the bottom knee that was glued to the ground. It doesn't matter where it comes out from. Uh, from before his thigh or from uh, under his shin, doesn't matter. I just try to press my knee out. Sometimes it takes more than one shrimping moment. I need to shrimp, shrimp a little more, then I can press the knee out. Now, immediately I keep my shin here as a frame and I switch my hips, put my arms to frame on the other side, leg on the ground, shrimp the other way, take the other knee out. And now I have multiple options. I can take him to close guard, I can sit up, to open bar and I can make a technical stand up, but that's a whole another topic. Under the mount is not the place to rest. When I have my correct posture, when I have my frames, I start to shrimp like hell. A shrimp, one shrimp may not be enough. His leg is pushed out a little bit, I shrimp some more and my knee comes out. Really important thing, do not take the leg out. Because taking the leg out, I accept half guard and that's not good. He puts his weight on top of me and I might, I might get stuck on bottom half guard. I don't want to end up in half guard with my black back flat on the ground. So I shrimp, I took the knee out and now my shin starts to act as a frame. I might be able to get the hook in here, and this is a frame, he wants to step over it, and I kind of move my leg, maybe start some open guard already, or maybe it ends up here, but it still acts as a frame. Now, I took the knee out, knee as a frame, she has a frame here, I frame my hands onto the other side. Usually it's the hip and across the throat. So this way, if he wants to put his weight on top of me, it's a bit hard for him. I hold back his hip and I hold back his upper body uh, with my arm across the throat. Now, leg on ground here, shrimp to the other side and sit up and I have completed my escape. Now I can choose whether I want to make a technical stand up, go to closed guard or start to play open guard. Now really important thing is to drill the escapes and the part of the escape, so part of any technique with various uh, resistance. I could spend two minutes just uh, practicing getting my frames. For example, I start out of the posture, his uh, knees are in tight and he's quite up on my body. I'm out of posture and his objective is to fight uh, to prevent me from getting, uh, getting my posture. Not to submit me, but just make my life hard under here. And I just fight until I get my proper posture. Go. And I'm in my posture and I'm started I'm starting to make my escape already. And now I can do this for a few rounds. When that is done, I can start from the correct posture. I already have my posture, I need to escape, he needs to stop my escape. And I have completed my escape. So, various drills with various resistance. Later on we can go full out, start sparring from the mount, he's on top, I'm on bottom, he needs to submit me, I need to escape. And that's how you get better. I am Jorgen Maitsi, he is Raimo Bolava, I hope you enjoyed our mini instructional. Stay tuned for more videos from Team Scaring Paranormal Estonia and check out our website www.bjj.ee.